Zack Snyder's Justice League is finally upon us after all these years. And what I think... It was awesome! It was phenomenal. It was very stupendous. It's been a long time coming. I just want to give you my thoughts. It was four hours long. I understand kind of why they wanted to break it up in parts and release it that way. There was some contractual issues as far as why they couldn't release it like that, they had to release it as like a, a full movie, as far as maybe like the actors contracts, you know, what they signed up for, what they agreed to whenever it was done. I actually watched the original um, theatrical release the day before the Snyder Cut was released. So that gave me a good uh, kind of contrast and comparison whenever I watched the Snyder Cut. Differences were just, it was insane. It, it was like night and day. You know, for me, the scene that really stuck out, oh, by the way, spoilers, if you haven't watched it yet, you might not want to watch this. The scene where uh, Wonder Woman was like kind of introduced and she was uh, rescuing the hostages, that scene was just, it was like night and day for me. Especially like seeing the same footage but it presented in a different way. It just gave it a whole different effect. Like when she was going past the hostages and she was dodging the bullets, the way that that was presented in Snyder's version versus the previous one was, was I mean, it was insane. You know, the, the music, her music was better. The There was like this intro that would come and then her music would start kicking in and it was, it, it just had a whole different feel. The music was phenomenal. The fleshing out of the characters. I mean, there was like so much that, that was left out. It, it was just ridiculous. I, I couldn't believe it. I really hope that we get a sequel to this or kind of more to it. The movie ends on like a cliffhanger or just kind of alluding to more. From what I understand, Zack Snyder's kind of released a kind of like a pitch to for the second and the third movies. From what from what I'd read. He wanted it to be kind of like Lord of the Rings. So one big epic journey split into multiple movies. When honestly the Snyder Cut felt like two movies. The way he filmed it, he ended it on that cliffhanger note because he said that, you know, he wanted to present the film as it was supposed to be. And so he doesn't know if there will be another one made or, you know, as of now, there won't be, you know. Uh, not saying that that won't happen in the future. I mean, we've never thought we'd see the Snyder Cut. So there's always a chance. There was a lot of things that were kind of set up that you could get really excited about. Um, Steppenwolf, he looked totally different. He looked more menacing. His suit looked a lot better. The inclusion of Dark Side was just like, man, he was like epic. Like I, I was really digging him. And it was crazy, the, the big kind of flashback scene from the first Justice League, like all that footage of dark side that was used was actually like stepping on or I had foot where the scene where stepping wolf was fighting them it was actually dark side in the original you know version that was filmed i mean it was just like wow you know so it's definitely uh worth checking out then there was the uh, epilogue the nightmare scene where you got the chance to see jared leto's joker um interact with uh batman which was which was very good some people are calling this like the the greatest dialogue or interaction between batman and joker on video or on camera i'm not saying all that you know but it, it was really good to be honest man that whole nightmare scene like or the whole the world the way it is and those scenes man i would love to see a series of movies just off that but uh i guess from what i understand two and three uh, probably would have included some of that stuff. So I'm really gonna kind of end it at that. You know, I just wanted to kind of give my one, two cents on it, um, but it was definitely good, definitely worth checking out. One of my really key points is that I loved is, is just how much it fleshed out the story. You know, like in the theatrical release, you know, you saw Gordon on top of the roof, the Batman and, you know, Wonder Woman and them, they come and they see him. And then the, the Snyder Cut, you see it actually in Gotham City Police Department. And there's uh, Gordon talking to one of the officers and they're saying, hey, there's sights of this, this thing that people have been seeing, presumably to be Batman. But it was like one of the parademons, you know, and so Gordon is like, okay, well, you know, I'll talk to him, you know. And so that kind of alludes as to why he turns the bat signal on to summon uh, to summon Batman. And I also loved how they didn't use the Michael Keaton uh, 1989 Batman theme at that part because it, as cool as it was in the Snyder, in the uh, theatrical release, it was kind of like, eh, 
this isn't that, so it doesn't really fit. You know, but it gave it its own thing. I would recommend to anybody that watched it to watch the uh, the theatrical release first. I don't know if it's still on HBO Max. Watch that, then watch the Snyder Cut, and your mind will be blown, um, especially as far as the process of making movies. You'll have respect for, like, directors and, you know, screenwriters and their vision, their, well, their vision and, you know, how they want something to look and then what kind of, it has to be condensed into, you know, because of time and, you know, constraints and budgets and things like that. That's what it really made me respect was just the artistic process of movie making. Um, but uh, Zack Snyder, well done. A phenomenal job. I hope to see more. Um, also, man, check out Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition. That's similar. It's, it's, it's a half hour of extra footage. And to me, it fleshed the story out more. And it made it a better movie. You know, give me the three hour, four hour superhero movies. I'm here for it. You know, so thanks for watching. Sound of the rain out.